to the year despite playing with that knee injury. Purdue's going to throw the ball on their first play from scrimmage. And it's a nice completion on the left side to Jared Sparks. He is 6'4", 225 pounds. DJ Knox is the running back. They're going to pass for a third straight play, and they will just get the first down. Jackson Anthrop with the catch. Yeah. And they expect he's going to be a tremendous playmaker. Deep down the left side on this third down, and almost a one-handed catch. Here comes the penalty flag. Trey Williams was in on the coverage intended for Terry Wright. Uh, I think Trey Williams got the left hand either on the elbow or the Pass jersey. The he he Defense, rode him for about 10 three. or 15 yards 15 with that yard left penalty. hand. Automatic first down. Pretty good effort there by Terry Wright to come up with the ball. There's a good look at it right there. The left hand holding on to that jersey, preventing Wright from going up to make the play. So From Princeton, Kentucky, swings it out. There's the first catch for Rondell there. Moore, and there's the athleticism. That's why they love this kid. This formation a little more bunched up. They fake to Moore. Sindelar throwing deep middle. He took a big hit and he throws into double coverage. It's an interception. No penalty flag thrown. Northwestern with the return outside the 30 and all the way outside the 35. There's safety J.R. Pace. Northwestern put a lot of people up at the line of scrimmage showing a blitz. And all they did was drop a safety pace to the middle of the field. Surprise at Sindelar. Again, it's the first game, but he has information. He does take the field. So he makes his season debut coming off that knee injury in the bowl game. A first play running play and some extra effort with a flag thrown in. Jeremy Larkin. A lot of attention on Larkin coming into this season because he's got to replace the all-time leading rusher in Northwestern history. Hands up into the face. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Defense, number 92. 15-yard penalty. It's added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. How about him after that injury? I don't think it's quite nine months from that surgery. So a very fast recovery. Swings his first completion of the year inside the 40. That's Cameron Green. They call him a super back. That's kind of what they call the H back or the tight end. And they're out wide. He'll hand it off. That time he decided to throw. Larkin alongside him on third and short. They hand it off to Jeremy Larkin. He breaks a tackle and it got close. Spun backwards, we'll see. I think he got a pretty decent spot. Time fighting for those extra yards to get the first. The throw, and uh, that super back breaks a couple tackles inside the 25 and all the way down to the 19-yard line. First down. Thorson going to throw again with a clean pocket. Takes the short completion and more missed tackles. Tough running. That's Jeremy Larkin for eight yards. Northwestern does like to go for it on fourth down, so maybe they got two plays to get two yards. They're going to throw it out into the right flat to the corner for a first down. That's Riley Lee's wide receiver. It'll be first and goal, Wildcats. Back him up. And we got a Wildcat look with Larkin going to carry it himself. Cuts middle and gets stopped just a yard short. So he took the direct snap. Not surprised. Third and goal, the 11th play of the drive. Larkin gets the handoff. He's going to walk in, touchdown. What a start for the Wildcats. That is flawless and exactly what you want if you're Northwestern. Well, they have not begun the year with a conference game. Maybe that was good for Northwestern. Another positive play on first down as they get the ball for the second time. That's the sophomore from Cincinnati, Jeremy Larkin. You don't think he's going anywhere. No. No, he's not. A handoff. Huge gaping hole up the middle, and Larkin is off to the races. Jeremy Larkin shedding tacklers inside the 15. I like the end of that run, that stiff arm to Tim Kaysan. Not just physically, XOs. Mentally, do you still want to have that energy to make tackles? And a play fake and a nice slant over the middle. Perfectly delivered right to the mark, and I think he got a first down. That is, again, great execution. Thorson in complete command of this run pass option. Linebacker that time, Cornell Jones, the middle linebacker, cheated up to defend the run. Thorson calmly stayed on that long ride, decided the linebacker had overcommitted, pulled it out, made a great throw right behind him for another first down. First and goal. Larkin gets another carry straight into the end zone. Touchdown. And that's Moten. So John Moten gets one, his first touchdown of the year. 
Northwestern's offense looks unstoppable. A couple years ago, the true freshman Rondale Moore made a nice cut. Moore with that speed to the 40. And much better starting field position for the Boilermakers. Clayton, his receiver leaves a chance to get down. First down, Boilermakers. Purdue with the pass completion. And the tackle short of the first down. To the second score and told him you got to be more twitchy. You're walking up to the line of scrimmage and you don't know what's going on yet. Yeah, First good. down, Purdue. Great, Clayton Thorson. I mean, is there an adjustment that they can make with those linebackers? I don't know. Uh, you got to streamline the plan, maybe some, allow them to see things and play quicker. But they got a drive going here. Yeah, that's Tario Fuller. They got four running backs that they like, and so the fan base and keep people believing that they can win this game. Play fake down the middle and caught. What a catch! There's some points. That's the freshman Rondale Moore. Watch the linebackers overcommit, come downhill. They reading, expecting run, and look at the hole right behind them. And because of that, he's got to throw that on a line before the safety can come over and make a play on it, which he did. Impressed with the hands. Moore uses all hands. True freshman goes up, makes the play, and the Boilermakers are up on the board. He does squat 600 pounds as a kid who's 5'7", 175 or thereabouts. Well, Purdue, the penalty on special teams. Now this penalty going backwards the last couple minutes. A lot of time to throw. We'll take the short completion. And then weaving through traffic. Nice moves from Terry Wright. He gets close to the first down. Ball much in this first quarter. They will give it on a little jet sweep. Rondell Moore will get the first down and much more. How about this kid? Into Northwestern territory. I don't think they can catch him. Moore, touchdown. Wow. Yell last year. You'll see him right here get outside and make a nice block. The big block you're talking about comes from out here. Nine, Terry Wright gives great effort. There's the ball handed off, blocked by the tackle. Boom. How about that block? Then he shakes this defender. Wright's not done. Nine, he's still trying to help out. Still trying to lead the way. There's the speed. The big fellow, 51, no chance of catching him. Blake Gallagher chugging along down the sideline. Great block there. Wright picks it up. But this is the move right here. Boom, foot in the ground. Cuts back on the corner. Trey Williams. And then there's the speed to be able to get to the outside. You're not going to catch him out there. If he, if he is fine, I'm scratching my head. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Because they were in total control of this game while he was in there. T.J. Green into coverage. Penalty flag thrown short. Holding. Defense number 29. 10-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That's what, when you take a veteran out, that's what you potentially miss. That's Green in the right flat. Cam Green's making an impact early in this game. That's a Northwestern first down. It has got the last two touchdowns. Northwestern does have the ball, and they run their own sort of version of the jet sweep for a nice gain into Purdue territory on the first play of the second quarter. Something like a pitch count, so we were never going to see just one play the entire game. Well, that was good completion from Green to his running back. That is Moten. That's, that's a great read. Just outside the 15, third and nine. Green throws high, almost intercepted, almost picked off. Navon Mosley got his hands on it. It's fourth down. 34 yards. He had a good freshman year last year. His first attempt of this year is good inside that left upright. So Northwestern with the younger quarterback, T.J. Green, leading the way down the field for a field goal back in front, 17-14. There he is. They fake it to him. You would think that's going to attract a lot of attention. First down completion all the way out to the 45, Jared Sparks. Well, that time, even though Rondell Moore didn't make the play, turned it four might get the football. Sindelar showed some nice arm strength there. The completion to the far sideline. And that looks like another Purdue first down into Northwestern territory. That defense. Second and ten, a play fake. They are not running the ball much, are they? And I guess why not? That's another catch for Jared Sparks. You mentioned the 23 plays, 18 runs, or 18 throws, just five runs for the Boilermakers. A lot of time, but that time runs out. 
And Sindelar goes down. That's a big sack for Northwestern. You know, in high school, he came back from that. And tears the same ACL in a last year, end of the year. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Nice play by the D-line of the Wildcats. Plays on special teams and otherwise. You got Joe Shopper, the punter, who can throw, but he's just going to put the ball down. And this kick has a lot of leg, but it drifts right. No good. Make a little extra important stop when you do it when Thorson is the guy. That punt, not a very good one. Kind of off the side of the foot, and this is going to depend on the spot. No matter what, this is going to be good field position for Purdue. It's to have to start 2018. I think it's a really good point. That quick hitter on the first play, Anthrop, turned it upfield. Out of bounds outside the 40 to about the 47-yard line. They're coming under center for a rare time. And they will play fake on third and one. Sindelar looking downfield. Got away from one defender, and what a great effort. I think he got the first down. He they pick up the first down. Uh, that, that might be a little surprising. And that one is intercepted. What a pick. I don't think he ever saw that defensive lineman or linebacker. That's Nate Hall, who dropped back into coverage and comes up with a very big play. So coming back from a knee injury, looked pretty healthy. Thorson downfield. Kind of a back shoulder throw, and it's caught inside the 20. Ben Skoranek with a big play. He's slow to get up. Sideline warning against the Purdue bench. There's no yardage penalty. That's their warning. Uh, in the end, it's a big play for Clayton Thorson and Northwestern. Leading 17-14. And a pass on first down toward the end zone. He's got a wide open man. And did the feet stay down? Yes. But the ball, I guess, was not across the plane. So it's a catch, but not a touchdown. It's going to be first and goal. And a punch in their third touchdown of this first half. It's Green with the sneak. And he is in. Northwestern touchdown. Going to be dialed in there. Get those guys break those games down this tonight. All right, well, Moore's been quiet for a few minutes, so time to get him the ball, right? He used a stiff arm and got a couple extra yards, a little pushing at the end of the play. Uh, he, he, side. Now, they don't need much. They're going to hand it off, and a cutback. That stumble will get the first down. Not by much. Tario Fuller gets there. Maybe take a shot here. This might be a good time for one. Is it a shot? Sindelar didn't have much time at all. Moore, great catch, first down. Big Ten. The guy with that physical ability right away able to process. Sindelar got hit as he threw the ball and just threw a dart right on target first down. You and I. Sindelar, pressure picked up. Barely dumps it short. And nowhere to go. Patty Fisher in the open field with the tackle. Fuller just could not quite. Good hold. Kick is right down the middle. Well, that's three points for the Boilermakers. Let's see what Sindelar can do. Roll out, getting some blocks. Now tucks it and throws it wildly intercepted. Northwestern comes up with their third interception of the first half, and that is just a huge mistake. Montre Hardage with the pick. The end zone for a touchdown. They're going to try to do that here. Uh, toward the end of this first half, they keep it on the ground. That's Jeremy Larkin, the sophomore. Talk about uh, how fragile this Purdue defense, losing nine of their top 12 tacklers. How Second and five, total yardage just about even in this first half. The turnovers have really been the biggest difference. Larkin gets the first down for the Wildcats. Really? Possession of the first half. Another carry. Larkin bounces it outside. Cuts it upfield inside the 10, all the way down close to the five. Year, much better year than they did a year ago. Me gotta too. Take, gotta take care of the ball. Yep. Ah, almost a mishandled exchange, but Larkin kept the ball, and on that Wildcat, he gets into the end zone. There is a penalty flag at the end of the play. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 55. Touchdown counts. The 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Halftime score 31 17. Now, time to send it back to the guys in studio. We know we need, we can turn to them, and let's we'll see what the veteran can do. Right up the middle, and a big play on the ground. Purdue into Northwestern territory. It's DJ Knox. Was 
Play clock winding down on third and seven. Wow, looking sort of in that direction now. He's going to take off with one pump fake, takes a big hit, and the ball came out. Looked to me like the ball popped out. And yeah, ball's out. As he dove for that first down, they're going to give it to him. Two touchdowns. They have almost 100 more total yards than Northwestern. Blau again will step up. He's going to throw on the move. He stayed behind the line of scrimmage. Completes that inside the five to Jared Sparks. Just talked about how his feet come into play. Not type spots. They've kind of spread it out a little bit. He will hand the ball off. Knox powering his way forward. And I think he's in. He is. Touchdown. To tie it up down 31-17. Now here we are. They're only down a touchdown. A oh, play that worked on their first drive of the second half. A handoff up the middle to D.J. Knox. Picks, and especially one of them, a very poor decision. And after that, he was out of the game. Blau is a runner. Much more than Sindelar. He gets the first down. Game, and you want your guy to go in there and, and do well. Second down and six. Blau, and that's Rondale Moore. That's his first catch of the second half. Third and two. He's going to pitch it after he faked the run, and that was a great decision. First down and more out to midfield. I love the call. Guy be disgruntled. It's rare to see guys truly support each other like this. That throw. And with a penalty flag in the backfield, that might be an illegal hit on the quarterback. No, Maybe. It is. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 83. 15-yard penalty added on to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Spindler it is right now with Blau. Second and eight. Another handoff. And some tough running from Markel Jones. It'll be third and reasonably short. And Northwestern looked to me like they put their best guy on Moore. And there you go. Exactly as called. The first down Purdue. So they hardly ran for anything in the first half. Totally different here. I don't know about that one. There's Rondale. And he's tough to bring down. <laughs> Even that was impressive. You can't run it down to the end of the quarter. The play clock is winding down. They get the play snapped. Blau complete to the tight end. But that's going to be stopped well short. And now, do you just take the three points? Blau's pass complete. And the first play of this fourth quarter right down the middle. And we got a ball game. We got a game. We got a game. I mean, this was 31 to 17 at half without looking at anything. He's I mean, on top of it. He literally sort of has his run of the place. Brom in scramble mode now. That's a pretty nice throw. Now it didn't get much. Four yards. Play. I mean, he looks like a player. Third and 11. And a holding call I think has been made. Blau now is just going to go out of bounds. He got stepped on basically. Purdue still trail Northwestern 31 Purdue 27 under eight to go and the Wildcats with their own very talented young player Jeremy Larkin T.J. Green is in at quarterback Larkin's just not going down not a huge concern no not, not from what we've seen from Larkin here comes Green Green kind of running the option and he got the first down Athletic ability to do things like that third and one handoff Larkin bounces it outside first down and more to midfield and he'll finally be wrestled down Jeremy Larkin having a heck of a night kind of moving the ball from his left arm into his right arm to start to run with it doesn't matter at this point yeah they didn't they didn't stop to take a look flag thrown from behind that pass was completed Western pass interference defense number 24 spot foul automatic first down still a little surprised we didn't stop and look yeah, at that I thought very least should look at it we've looked at a lot tonight yep and we've stopped the game a bunch of times. That seemed worthy, at least, of having a second look. That was a big play. They're playing quarterback for Northwestern. Trying to put the game away, essentially. Pretty amazing. He's throwing on third down, and he zips one in there. It's caught. Now, the tackle, I think he was stopped short. Not by much. Skoranek. Got to get the play snapped. They do. The sneak comes. And I think he got there. No, he did, yep. They snap it with the play clock at two. A little bit of a awkward exchange. A tackle right at the line of scrimmage. A flag thrown. There's a hold there on Cameron Green trying to set the edge. Here's 
Joe Burrow making his first start. We've got Jeremy Larkin now taking that Wildcat. Out of the timeout, Larkin just kind of picking his way, trying to get around that corner. Gets hit hard. Give you some indication, can we win it right here with one play? Well, it's a handoff. And some good blocking. But stopped well short. It'll be third and ten. Jeremy Larkin. Okay, maybe you got a little breathing room. You play some non-conference games. Yeah. Well, this run, one is huge on both sides. Run to the right, but you yeah. got to get positive yards. Yeah, and they really didn't. No. In fact, Good they defense. went backwards by a yard. Now, now the, the play clock should start. Oh, now you got a late hit. Now oh, that, oh. I don't know about that call. That's going to decide the game. That will. That is going to finish the game. That and and, and, I, and here's the bad part. It's the toss by Lorenzo Neal, your veteran up front at the end of the play. After the play's over, dead ball, personal foul. Defense number nine, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. 31 to 14, 31 17 rather at halftime, and they didn't score a point in the second half. They had to hold on, and they're able to fight. And that's what it takes sometimes when you're on the road. Find a way to win, and give them credit. They're one and zero, and moving forward.